Turning to a very different kind of sport, tomorrow is the Great American Race, the annual Daytona 500. Let's get an inside view from one of NASCAR's rising young stars, rookie driver Kyle Larson, who joins us from Florida's Daytona International Speedway. Kyle, we're honored to have you with us this morning. Yeah, thanks for having me. So I want to ask you, unlike traditional sports, you guys start your season in some ways with the Super Bowl. It's the biggest race. So does that mean that the qualifiers leading up to the Daytona 500 are even more intense for you as a driver? Yeah, this whole Speed Weeks is uh, probably the most intense time of the year. You know, we have two, two dual races to get us locked into the field for the Great American Race. And then, uh, yeah, the, the race this Sunday is um, something, you know, really crazy. You know, like you said, our biggest race of the year starts our season. So, you know, I think that's pretty unique and um, it, it always has a great finish. So uh, I'm really looking forward to it. Kyle, you're, you're 21 now, right? And uh, you've been racing, I guess, since you were seven in some form when you were racing go-karts. But this is your first Daytona 500. How does it feel? It's amazing. You know, I, I, I've dreamed of being in this race for a long time. And uh, to finally have that dream come true is going to be really great. So I'm um, just really excited for, for the race this coming Sunday and you know, hoping to do the best I can and, and get a solid finish and uh, bring back the car in one piece because it's really easy to get caught up in a wreck here. <laughs> well, you know, I read that you are sort of ahead of everybody in terms of your starting position. You're ahead of last year's winner, Jimmy Johnson. Does that give a driver an advantage where you actually start the race? It only gives you a, a little bit of an advantage here. You know, this track is um, really unique with the style of racing that it has. So, you know, starting position probably doesn't mean as much as it would at a, at a smaller racetrack. So um, we, we all know Jimmy Johnson will find his way to the front and uh, <laughs> yeah, he'll probably get there pretty quick. So uh, we'll be on our toes and, and try and try and beat him to the front. Yeah, yeah, he's in this. He's uh, you're in the 16th position. He's behind you, but uh, he knows how to run that ride, ride, drive that race. You got some of your childhood heroes are in this race. How how are you treated by the older drivers, Kyle? It's all been good so far. You know, I haven't had any any run-ins yet. You know, I got to race with um, a few of them last year in the Nationwide Series, and uh, so got experience doing that. And um, they all treat me pretty well so far. I'm sure we'll have a couple run-ins. Uh, you know, at some point throughout the year with, you know, one or two, hopefully not, but uh, it's pretty inevitable that that's, things are going to happen. So, um, but like I said, just try and stay out of trouble for this Sunday and, and have a good time. You know, all the, all the viewers out there can watch it on Fox at, at 1 p.m. Eastern on Sunday. So hope you guys tune in. You know, I want to ask you about this comment that sparked a little bit of controversy. NASCAR legend Richard Petty basically made a dig at Danica Patrick. He said she would only win if, quote, everyone stays home. Is that the kind of comment that you guys even pay any attention to when you're drivers and when you're competing in this field? No, we, I don't try and pay any attention to it. Um, I think she does a, a great job. You know, this, this sport is extremely tough. And, um, you know, I've got to experience a, a handful of races in it last year and uh, really didn't or really changed my respect for this series, you know, knowing how tough it is now. And, um, you know, I think she does a great job. She, she won the pole for the Daytona 500 last year and, and had a good finish, too. So, um, like I said, I think Danica does, does a fine job. Kyle Larson, good luck in your first Daytona 500. Thank you, guys.